Welcome to the Aztec Token Sale. This is an on-chain, community-owned sale where you set the terms. No more airdrops, no more mysterious allocations. This is a token sale like no other. And the best part is that registration is now open for all. I'm going to show you how you can participate in the sale and how you can collectively reveal an on-chain masterpiece in the process. As always, nothing here is financial advice. First thing, you'll connect your wallet, and this will reveal when you are eligible to participate. No matter which track you're on, you can immediately proceed to registering. Most of you will be on the public track, like we are here. Uh, if you were an early contributor, a testnet operator, an engaged community member, you may be on the contributor track, and this will give you early access to bidding and participating in the auction. Be sure to connect your most active wallet that you used. And as you proceed, you'll find yourself standing in front of this large art piece that will slowly be revealed as more and more people claim their tiles. Each tile is an access pass NFT that will guarantee you a place in the sale uh, after you pass your identi uh, identity verification. What's really exciting about the sale is that we are using ZK Passport which was built with our very own programming language, Noir, and it allows you to prove your identity and your location and your passport details without actually revealing any of that information. And so we're gonna use ZK Passport here to do a sanctions check. You can either uh, check if, if your ID is supported, um, or you can just skip below if you wanna head straight to the ZK Passport. Um, app. You'll be shown a QR code here. And if you haven't installed ZK Passport yet, this will prompt you to install the ZK Passport app. I already have it on my phone and I have my passport scanned into the app. All of this information is going to stay locked right on my phone. All right. So I'm going to scan this QR code. This is going to ask me quickly to do a face verification which I'm doing here in real time. And now I am waiting for the proof to be generated. You can see here, it says below, generating proof. This will take a minute or two uh, to actually generate. And once it's done, you will be able to proceed. Another option, if your passport is not supported or if you don't have one, or if your ID is not supported, you can use predicate as a traditional KYC screening method. All right, so we've passed identity verification, and you can see here that the tile that we selected is revealed. And you can now mint this as your access pass to participate in the auction. This will also reveal this tile for everyone else to see as part of the on-chain artwork. Be sure once you've minted your pass to click share on social so that you can tweet out that you've uh, officially minted your pass and that you are participating in the Aztec token sale. Once you've minted your access pass, you can proceed to the auction. So welcome to the Aztec auction. This might look a little intimidating at first. It was for me, but I promise you, you will get it. The first thing that you'll see here is a status. And so this is where you can check if you're eligible to bid, what date you're eligible to bid, and you can also add a calendar notification to get reminded when the auction is live for you. The auction is a continuous clearing auction just launched by Uniswap, and it's designed to adjust price in real time based on demand, and also to give fair access to more tokens for those who participate early. I'm gonna quickly go through how you place an order, how you place a bid, and the different types of ways that you can interact with this auction. Here, I'm gonna uh, specify that I want to spend 500 bucks in ETH in this uh, auction, and I'm going to select a market order. When I place a market order, it's simply going to take the amount that I that I bid, and it will automatically allocate tokens based on the demand from other incoming bids. So for this order, I will just review my bid, accept the terms, confirm it, and this will open your wallet. And I am now submitting my bid. Once you've placed your bid, you'll see all your active bids right here. 
And you'll also see how many tokens are starting to be filled for that order. Because you placed a market order, you'll uh, see your tokens roll in and you don't have to do anything. Now, you may have noticed that I skipped over this little section down here, uh, which shows you how your $500 bid is spread out and allocated across the auction. A continuous clearing auction is designed to clear tokens every Ethereum block. And what this does is it actually takes your $500 and it spreads it over all the remaining periods of the auction. In this example, there's only one day left. So all of your $500 is allocated to this day. And you can think of this as uh, each day has a, a pot of tokens that is being auctioned off. Um, and each block has a little stack of those tokens and your bid is being uh, spread across all of those little stacks. And so for every Ethereum block, your your bid, you will see how, uh, how many tokens you are being allocated based on the demand from other people. All right, so that was a market order. It's you just set the price and your tokens are automatically allocated for you over the course of the auction. All right, so that was a market order. You just set your uh, amount that you're willing to spend, review, review your bid, place your bid, and your tokens are automatically allocated for you over the remaining span of the auction based on the demand from other users. You can also choose to uh, submit a capped order. This allows you to specify a maximum FDV or price per token that you are willing to bid at. It's important to note here that this is the max FDV. You will always get the same price as everyone else for uh, each block. And so this is simply saying, okay, once it hits this FDV, I no longer want to purchase tokens. So let's set another $500 order here at a FDV of 2 billion. I'm going to review this bid and submit it. All right, the bid is confirmed. I've placed my bid. You can see here uh, it came out to $40.99. And this is the max price per token that I'm willing to bid. Um, of course, if it's under this uh, each block, I will get it at that lower rate, the same as everyone else, until it hits this rate, at which point my order will no longer be valid. Here you can see your bids. You have a market order, which will continue to fill throughout the course of the auction based on the demand from other users. And you can see we just saw some tokens getting allocated, which was really exciting. And you also here have a capped order, which specifies that uh, I'm willing to participate in this auction and get the same price as everyone else for each block until an FDV of $2 billion is hit. At that point, my order would no longer be valid and I'll no longer uh, receive any tokens in the remaining period of the auction for this bid. If that happens, you can always place new bids or you can place multiple bids even at different FDVs right up front. And you'll also see if you are outbid or if your bid is no longer valid, that you'll be able to convert the remaining ETH that was in that bid to a market order if you want to keep participating. All right, so that was a quick walkthrough of how you place bids in the auction. You can see here on the top screen, you'll see your average price per token, and you'll see how much you've spent so far in the auction across all your orders and how many tokens have actually been filled. All right, well, that was a quick walkthrough of how to participate and place bids in the Aztec auction. You can see here as time progresses, your average price per token and how many tokens have been filled. And finally, the amount that you've spent over all of your bids throughout the auction. At any time, you can also return to view the grid and this will give you access to seeing the art uh, unfold in real time as more people participate. The last thing I'll point out is that you can click on this little button down here, view all artworks. And as uh, these tiles fill up, new art pieces will be revealed and for new people that are entering the auction. And so this will be a really cool place to come and explore all of the different art that is unveiled in the process of the auction. That's it for the walkthrough. Thank you so much.